So today on Project Shop, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way I found to upgrade your number two copper to number one copper. Now, this works good with any type of copper pipe. Could be regular uh, copper pipe from uh, household stuff to AC scrap. Um, and this particular stuff here, I did an AC video showing how I cut the coils. And I actually have the separated, um, I separated the ends. So this is all number one. And uh, I'll show you how to separate that. Basically, um, to separate it from this stuff, I just kind of like squish it over to the side. Or you can run this through a screen. I don't have a screen right now. But if you kind of just keep moving it, um, you know, you can separate it from this stuff pretty easily. So if you had a, a blower or an air hose, it would probably be better. I don't have an air hose. But you could set this thing on low and just kind of move them around and depending on how much you want it to blow set that thing further away and pretty much look at that all that aluminum is just going to fly away mix it around like you're shuffling a deck of cards so you could just do this on the floor put your leaf blower over there and just kind of sweep this into it you know and then that stuff will just fly right off and uh clean your copper Okay, we're off to a good start. We already got some clean number one copper here. Now, we're gonna add to it. And uh, we're gonna keep two buckets here. And uh, this is what I like to do. I like to use cable cutters, specifically these ones right here with the metal handles. You could use these. Uh, these are bigger and work great. And as a matter of fact, these particular ones used to actually be bolted to my table. I just unscrewed one handle drilled holes in this table that's underneath and i bolted it right to it on the edge so it was like sticking like this okay and matter of fact i could probably still do that i just need to clamp a piece of angle right here or screw it down and then bolt this to the angle and then you got a really good way to clean up your copper so in this particular case what i like to do is put this in the vise like this okay make sure it's tight and then i always bring in a table of some sort and I, I like to put a handle on here, pull this off, and then just drive the handle that fits on there snugly. Give it a little tap to make sure it don't fling off. Now this handle is going to do a couple things. It's on there nice and tight now. Okay, one, it's going to give you more leverage, you know, when you're pushing through the bigger pipe. Two, it's actually weight. So it's going to help you push like this big copper Let's see if I can bend this and break it. Yeah, I mean, you can sit here and bend this stuff, but so um, it's just going to help you push right through this copper. OK, now this thing here, this thing will last forever, way better than blades. That's all number one. Uh, and I'll show you this. This was my original one. I had this one for about 10 years. Let me take this out of here so you can see the difference. And I've actually ground down that blade so much that there's an actual gap in there. Um, and you can see this here, these handles are much closer. I actually ground down this right here uh, to get it to close more. I've probably used this for 10 years, man. These are 80 bucks or 90 bucks at uh, Home Depot. Um, I, I remember that's what, probably more now, but um, if you go on eBay, I bought three of them for like 60 bucks or something or, or maybe even less um you know for the price of less than the price of one i got three good used ones um you just gotta i, I saw them i looked at them they're really clean um these things were like brand new i got a really good deal on them and uh, i'll probably have these for the rest of my life the other ones i have and these things are a good way to recover brass from light bulbs you see that if you take this slide that out it's actually um, clean glass okay then you could sit here and cut this up don't cut into this uh, mercury tube here and some of the sometimes this stuff on the end here is stainless steel okay okay the little the little things are stainless and that thing is stainless Let's see. Okay, that's regular steel. Okay, but that there, 
somewhere in there there's a little ball of mercury we're going to get into trying to recover that someday um but you can set this in a bucket and take this to the local uh recycling place for free as a homeowner and then you get this brass uh brass breakage and uh may not seem like a lot but 55 gallon drum of that pays pretty good this stuff here is ready to go clean number one now look at that see all that we can even clean a little bit of that up you know now the reason why i like to keep a tray here is because once i start cutting stuff i just want to keep moving you know there we go you don't want it all falling in the same bucket you knock a couple out let's just shorten this up a little bit condense it down you know and then you could just sit here and throw them where they need to go now watch how much we get out of here we're going to recover a lot of number one compared to this number two we're just going to condense this down that's really unnecessary uh it's just going to make it sit in that bucket a lot easier because this is uh, kind of wild okay so when it comes to stuff like this this is where this uh thing is going to come in really good see that and cut that off there now if you want to make as minimal cuts as possible let's see we got that i mean we can clean all this up almost get right into some micro scrapping get a twofer <laughs> just cut them off I mean if you really want to get every little bit you can see how fast this can go you know and then you just kind of make sure now all that little bit of stuff can be upgraded. I mean, you could sit here and really get tedious with it or just send it as is. I mean, but look at this. I'd say 80% of that is number one copper, you know? Rather than let that all go, you can sit here and just crank away at this. Once you get good, this goes really fast. You just gotta watch your fingers, man. And uh, if you do this with two people, this goes really fast. All these little pieces. That looks good to me. We'll just send that. That's all number two. Now look at that. Look how much number one we got out of that. Very little bit of number two. So all this here, that all looks like number one. We'll just kind of condense that down a little bit. It's already condensed down. Good deal. And this stuff here, uh, we'll try scraping that off, see if we can upgrade that. That should probably come off pretty easy. Number one. That's, that's solid number one, like bright and shiny. We're gonna slide that over here. Now, all this stuff here, look at this. All these little ends. Just pop them off real quick. Now, depending on how tedious, I mean, you could just grab them and cut relatively close and still be okay. Or you can just go all out and uh, cut each one. Kind of double, double that one. Get all up in there. Boom, all that's number one, okay? Now, if you had a bigger bin, you wouldn't have to be doing this. I really hate doing stuff like that. Uh, even that right there, look at that. Upgrade that bam okay all well, that's number two that actually looks like brass and that is that's a big old chunk of brass in there uh so i guess percentage wise it doesn't matter we can throw that with the number two because uh when i'm done this i'm going to get on them lights and i got three 
bins full of light still with transformers and the transformers I already got on the table. So as soon as I'm done cleaning this, uh, we're going to get right on that. That'll probably be a second video though. So let's see here. We'll just kind of clean this up. Oh, I got stabbed in the armpit. Make sure that's clean. Okay. Now it's better to condense this stuff down because you get more room in your stuff. Okay. So we're just going to make this easy. Open that up a little bit and uh, recover as much of this number two or recover as much of this number one as possible okay and then uh, we could just maybe get both of them in one swoop Now, if you had a really good pair of bolt cutters, you could actually do the same. We'll cut it on that side. Those little nuggets. And having the, uh, having the weight on here really helps because you're kind of just pushing it and it's just sending it right through. Even, even the, uh, so you can cut that on a, an angle like that and get more copper out of it. So what do we got here? All number one, number one, number one, just little tiny bits of number two. So you can recover, I'm gonna say we're gonna recover You know, most of this is number one. Let's see what we got here. Number one. Okay. So we got that. Oh, right in the bucket. Number one. We got number two. A little thicker, it's a little harder. Now, cut this on an angle. Because then you're getting all that copper that normally would be behind that if you just cut it straight. See that? Instead of having a big old chunk there, you're just getting the solder. You know what I'm saying? That's number one. This whole piece is number one. We're just gonna cut it in that corner, make it sit in that bucket easy. Okay, there we go. What do we got next? Okay, we're just gonna cut it here. And then uh, we can cut these off. Cut these off. Cut these off. Okay. Now, that's number one. That'll be number one. Number one. Oh, 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 oh. Number one. Okay, that's number two. Okay, uh, I really screwed up. I actually recorded the whole last section in Time Warp. Uh, so it has no audio. And uh, what I was trying to explain is how you can cut um, a lot of this stuff in the middle. Shame, I don't even have none of it left. Um, let me show you. So basically, we'll just cut a flat piece of this to make it easy. Okay, so what I was trying to demonstrate in the video is, basically there was a lot of this stuff that had a bunch of little pieces sticking off like this, where there would be solder right here on the big pipe, okay? And the little pipes sticking off of it, okay? So what I was showing is, if you stick this in there on an angle like that, okay? Let me show. Let's 
So if you cut it like that, you're cutting all that uh, number one copper off the back of that. Let me show you what I mean. So that's one side. And then the other way, you're going to cut in the other direction. Okay? And basically what you did is you just cut out the little tiny piece of solder rather than doing this. If you just cut straight across, okay, go to the other side and cut straight across, you're going to have a piece of number two that is way bigger because you have the whole entire other side, which is clean copper, still there. If you cut it on an angle, you're just cutting out the little bit of solder that's on there and you're going to retain you know like three quarters more of the number one copper you know especially on big pipe you cut it you're leaving a lot of solder on the back side you know you just cut it on an angle hey you're going to recover now that is kind of a little bit of micro scrapping but uh you are going to recover a lot now out of all that um there was hardly any number two copper um i'd say 98% of it, I recovered to number one, okay? Most of those little noodles are from when I cut the thing, and I had it all in the video, but, you know, I time warped it on you by an accident. So, uh, if you come this far, stay tuned. I'm about to knock out these lights, get all the transformers out, add them to the transformers I already got on the table, and uh, hopefully get to these transformers back here because they keep piling up. I got a pile there, I got a pile here, and then I got a couple bins back here. We're gonna get the table, uh, we're gonna get this stuff over to the table and uh, recover that copper because uh, our number two bin is looking kind of sad, you know? So uh, let's see if we can't fill this thing up in the next video. So if you come this far, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.
I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard. Dancing. You ever seen a copper dance before? <laughs> 